Hey, Redcon Trader here, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. As today, we're tired of catching flak, so we're taking things to the street. Though, first, of course, we've uh, got yet another level up in the queue. So let's run through that real quick. And right off the bat, I'll say um, there weren't a lot of changes from what I was expecting based on my pre-launch notes. With one big exception, that being Tide of Excellence, which does seem like it got hit with a nerf hammer at some point. I'm not sure if it was at launch or sometime since then, but my pre-launch notes had it listed as being much better. Uh, it used to scale off of number of stacks, so now it's much more of a slow boil perk. Still potentially worth taking later down the line, but, but for now I'm switching off to my backup choices for the operatives, which for Valen is informed hit, which of course is a big part of why I grabbed precise shot first. This one essentially upgrades all of our precise attacks to automatic crits as long as the enemy we're targeting has at least five stacks of exploit. And that scales off intelligence too, so over time it'll become even easier to trigger. And then building on top of that, Valen doesn't really need most of these common talents, so... We'll just go ahead and bank an extra five points of intelligence right now. Sadly, we can only take it once, but that at least gets us within spitting distance of 60, so we'll be able to round it out once we hit level 10. After that, we've got Abelard. Pretty straightforward. He gets a skill. He's already maxed out athletics, so we'll switch off to a secondary. And for his talent, we're going for Epicenter of Slaughter, which grants him a modest but renewable source of temporary wounds. Decent for a tank, but more important once we hit our advanced archetype. Though that's still like 12 levels out. Nothing we need to worry about just yet. And then we've got Adira. And again, Tide of Excellence is a maybe, but we're shuffling it down the list for now. Slightly more ideal for her if we go AoE heavy, though sadly lightning does not count. It only triggers on the primary target. So instead, for now, we're just going to go double Psyker. Pain channeling. That'll allow any excess damage on a kill to spill over to the next closest target. Really optimizes her damage output. And then we will supplement that with... Biophysical Distortion, which adds a nice little poison chaser to all of her attacks. That's from the bio tree, of course, part of the reason I decided to make that jump. And it also scales off of her Psy rating pretty nicely, so in theory it should stay viable through the entire campaign. After that, we've got Argenta. And while there are still a number of offensive talents I would like to take... We're going to go ahead and bank second skin for now. Not super useful to her at this immediate moment, because she's currently rocking the Sin skin, which is light. But like I said last time around, we're going to find much nicer medium armor later down the line. As for her skill, no real question there. Demos are primary, so we'll cap it. Not sure what we'll do after that. Maybe Awareness, Medicaid. And then we've got Cassia who, of course, will keep on the path of the Navigator. Though I will say, there are some very nice officer perks I'm still considering. But, I mean, the sad truth is that, based on the way her Navigator talents work, it just makes more sense to keep stacking Navigator stuff. I mean, it's not like we've got her really keyed much as an officer anyway, aside from bring it down. So yeah, at least for now, we'll keep focusing on Navigator stuff. And today we are grabbing Strange Vitality, which will vastly improve her survivability on the battlefield. That grants her a potent willpower-based regeneration and bumps up her base health pool by an amount equal to the number of overall Navigator perks and abilities she's taken. Which, you know, really just kind of exacerbates the whole issue with not wanting to waste slots on actual class stuff. For skills, we'll go ahead and cap out Persuasion for now. And then I think Coercion is going to be her secondary. 
and I may just end up ignoring commerce on her entirely. I might hand that off to Pascal, but I'm on the fence there. And speaking of whom, we've got Pascal, who as an operative, once again, currently ignoring Tide of Excellence. And then it was kind of a toss-up for our backup between offensive pattern recognition and improved tactics, which I think I am going to take. That one modestly reduces the amount of total exploits needed to get the damage buff, but more importantly, vastly improves the damage buff. Which honestly is kind of a trend with Pascal, looking at his post-launch talent list. He has a pretty incredible array of damage buffs or general offense buffs, I guess to help offset the fact that he's sort of a hybrid build. But uh, it would not be surprising if by the time we hit his advanced archetype, we're rocking up to plus 20 damage per swing. That said, none of that actually matters if he can't move fast enough to get into the fight. So we'll go ahead and grab swift movements. We're still building basic foundations here for the moment. But man, oh man, we're going to have a lot of fun with his talent mixes once we get to later levels. I'm also thinking we'll go the Melta route for his range option, because he's got a ton of synergy there. And that's it for level ups. Pretty productive this time around. Some nice, solid buffs. That said, let's push on. We've got a fair bit of ground to cover today. All right, let's see what we got here. Reach the upper way. Find out what is going on. Keep your wits about you. The upper way extends across a wide bridge, which is suspended high above the roiling waters of the river below. The bridge is densely packed with imposing and ostentatious buildings designed to appeal to the local elite. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Not great. This mansion must have been damaged by an explosion or a large shell. You can still see some of its former luxury within. Always keep your eye on the price. A young man in a planetary guard uniform salutes you. Your lordship. Private Camille Regius, ready to escort you to the command center for your meeting with the governor. I regret to say that the convoy sent to meet you was ambushed and took critical losses in heavy fighting against the rebels. In other words, I'm the only survivor. However, the rebel force was destroyed as well. We can set out for the command center. The success to failure ratio of combat objectives completion for this world's military speaks to its subpar efficiency. I will advise the local ruler to seek my fraternity's aid in upgrading their troops to servitor maniples. Yikes. Harsh. What's wrong with your uniform, soldier? Kinda looks like it was made for someone else. Apologies, your lordship. The soldier draws himself up and goes to adjust his gear. It's a new uniform. The guards are in a difficult situation right now, so we often get issued whatever's left. And it isn't always the right size. Your mouth is full of mud, soldier. You are hiding something behind beaming hues of faith and loyalty. What is it? The soldier gulps nervously under the stern gaze of Cassia's ruby eyes. Fear, I guess? In times like these, if you give in to weakness, you're done for. And I'm not done with life just yet. Adira winces, glances at you, then shakes her head. Oh, that's fun. We're getting psychic premonitions and stereo now. Tell me, uh, Cam, right? Tell me, how, how'd you survive the ambush that wiped out the rest of your squad? The Emperor protected me, the soldier replies with confidence. I didn't run, your lordship, if that's what you're thinking. I was by my commander's side until the very end. 
I shot the last rebel from the gang that attacked us, but, alas, the captain succumbed to his wounds, and the others had already died. The Emperor rests their souls. Adira winces, then shakes her head again. Hmm. Right, sure, so, uh, what can you tell me about these rebels? What are we up against out here? The ungrateful rabble rose in rebellion against the planet's lawful governor and his lordship, Coligo Swinterscale, our ruler by the will of the Emperor. They are all heretics deserving of a most terrible death. Order will be restored. The guilty will be punished. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we'd better get to it then. Please, lead the way. Yes, your lordship. We have to take this avenue. It leads from the starport right to the command center. It's a short walk. We can't walk straight across, your lordship. I'll show you a safe way around. I'm sure you will. Oh, that's... that's new. I think they've tied Adira's premonitions to secret awareness tests. It did feel like she was making more predictions than I'm used to. That's cool. I like that. I guess it also explains why they, they felt it necessary to move her starting skill from warp lore to awareness. That makes a lot more sense now. I mean, I'll be honest, half the reason I like having her around is for those psychic interjections. Though it doesn't hurt that she's also a mook mulching crowd controller. All right, let's uh, go walk into an ambush. Something large and heavy plowed down the entire width of the strait. You can only guess what could have caused such damage. The temple's tower collapsed onto the pavement and is blocking the way. It will take days to clear the rubble. Capacitors and ale. That man had priorities. Loot on the left. The temple door does not budge. It may be blocked by rubble from the other side. Yep. I always keep my options open. This shuttle must be what crashed into the building and destroyed part of the street. Assorted goods. Oh, a big stack of wide awake packs. Yes, please. I've been going through caffeine withdrawal for the past four days. But nonetheless, we push on. There are traces of a recent battle everywhere, including bodies in planetary guard uniforms. Uh huh. I see three bodies. All guards, no, no rebels. That feels like a conspicuous absence. The soldiers' bodies. Oh. The young man sighs. The remains of my squad. Once we put down the rebellion, they'll be given the last honors they deserve as. Soldiers fallen in a righteous battle. Yeah, maybe. I've got to say, what I'm seeing here doesn't add up. Most of these guys didn't even have time to draw their weapons. Whoever did this knew exactly when and where to hit them. The enemy is smart and cunning. Perhaps they were watching us? I must report this to the governor. Sorry, kid. Your story doesn't really add up either. I'm starting to think that you're the one who led this squad into an ambush. I swear, your lordship. I may have gotten a few things mixed up from inexperience, and that's why they don't add up. Please, let's walk to the governor's command center. I must carry out my orders. Once we get there, you can have the intelligence run a check on me if you wish. 
I'm a loyal soldier, and that's the truth. Do not believe him, Lord Captain. Pale green is seeping from his every word, and I know the color of deceit well. I once mistook Felix's words, so humble and full of sweetness for sincerity. In truth, they were poison. Well, you heard the lady. Sorry, kid. It's nothing personal. Blast you, scum! Aurora will get you all the same! Aurora and the final dawn! Okay, we'll see now it's personal. And I am extremely anti-personnel. Uh, Argenta? The Emperor favors me today. Thank you, Argenta. I have heard that if you come here first, uh, Private Cam will actually not be a traitor. I think the general gist of it is that if you get here fast enough, the real Cam is still alive, but that this guy that we just shot down is a cultist who killed him and took his uniform. Pamphlets and booklets are strewn around the dormant cogitator, imploring the reader to devote their life to serving the Emperor in the ranks of the Astra Militarum. Well, that's a pretty rank proposal. Uh, hi guys. Just hanging out behind some random terrain, I see. Hoping to spark up a conversation, perhaps. Errant rubbish lies scattered between the seats, covered in stone dust. Old programs, faded tickets, and food scraps of unknown origin. Abelard, could you, uh, maybe take point for a moment? We are the spearhead of the Imperium. Oh no, an ambush. I'll make an example out of you. I will take you down. Fire starters are main threat here. The rest of these guys look to be mooks, low tier. Oh, more down below. Second fire starter. A couple of long arms. Conveniently down the stairs, out of line of sight. So, let's park Abby up front. He'll draw fire. Fire starter's real early in the initiative, so let's set up to knock him out first. We'll park Adira here. Then we'll slap Val and Cassie over here for an alpha strike. Hopefully Val takes that guy out in one shot, but if not... Adira can pick up the spare. Pass up front in case they try to rush. And Argenta tucked behind cover till she's ready to go. Alright, I think we're all set. Let's do this. Cass up first. Let's tag Val. And Val pings. The fire starter. Just getting a peek at when these other guys go. Okay, so four stacks on the fire starter. Who if not me? One stack, surefire plan. Oh, that's gonna be close. But that'll do it. Wow. By one point, too. Which frees up Adira to clear some mooks. Sadly, they're way too spaced out for lightning. Lightning's only good when they're all clustered up. But in theory, we might still be able to tag two with spillover. Let's toss out buffs. And analyze.
and kill. Ooh, low roll. Very minor spillover. But still took one out, so we'll take it. Abby's up. We've got multiple guys pushing up the stairs. So let's not leave him exposed. We'll um, we'll kind of half juke around, see if we can end up behind cover. This fight's not too serious, but those flamers can definitely get nasty. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Nice. It will be done. And even nicer. Two out. Who's next? Uh, pass. Again, don't want to push up too close just yet, so let's flex that new tactical knowledge ability. We'll stack more exploit and go single target. That way it'll immediately absorb all of the stacks on this rebel. Okay, so that should be plus 8% armor squad-wide and plus 9 to Pask's damage for the rest of the fight. Too far? Fair enough. Just hang tight. Melee guy moves up. Fire starter en route. Ooh, we have line of sight on the stairs. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Eh. We'll go for it. And again. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oof. That's fine. What I need to get on someone is um, joint analysis. That gives non operative allies uh, an extra bonus to hit and crit on any target with stacks of exploit. We only really need it on one character, so that'll probably go to Pascal. Let's pull the fire starter closer. Nope. Oh, still inflicted castigating at least. Glad they got that fixed. Uh, so I guess we'll just go for Spillover. We'll tag the guy on the right. Hope we do enough Spillover to stamp out the fire starter. We'll do. That'll do it. Oh, the long arms are hanging back. They're forcing us to go to them. Alright, we'll play their game. Let's trim the guy on the stairs. I'll make it happen. Overkill, but might as well be sure. Yeah, that guy's dead five times over. A shame we can't do spillover with sniper fire. They who descend the future own the battlefield. 
No LOS. We'll just toss out some buffs. Plus dodge, plus toughness. Abby's up. I don't think he can get all the way down those stairs, though. Let's hug, cover, and check. We do have his alt ready. Oh, no. No, never mind. We can't charge down the stairs, so... Just sit tight. Yeah, stairs get weird when it comes to LOS. I will do my duty. Push past up. Can we get LOS? Oh, there we go. Let's trim the guy on the left. Oh, right. Sniper rifles secondary. Activating and then there was one. Ooh, that was crazy overkill. Rain death. I guess that's good. Cass is up, so we can try again. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Oh, what was that? Maybe this? Hmm. Anyway, um let's pull this guy up. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Hmm, not sure that helped. But let's see. Oh, yes, that that definitely helped. And we're good. Ambush trimmed. Let's see what that gets us. First hand flamer. That's fun. Not worth swapping in for the flamer right now, but we'll keep an eye out for a nice gun to pair it with. Nothing else of note. Oh, wow. How did we not see that before? No wonder those guys were hanging back. They were trying to bait us into it. Clever mooks, but not clever enough. Yeah, traps are rough on this difficulty because they're basically immediate trauma, which can only be removed by returning to your ship. Which, of course, we can't do right now, so that would just be a, a semi-permanent debuff. At least until we neutralize the cannon. Stub guns. Fun, but not really useful for us. Survive. Success is measured in blood. Yours and your enemies. That's a healthy mindset. The food in the stalls is covered by a thick layer of stone dust. It was all abandoned in a hurry. Ah, oh, what a waste. They should have made provisions for that. Ooh. Emergency injector. When the wearer must fall unconscious, a stasis field immediately recovers toughness bonus wounds instead. 
The wearer loses all MP, but gains plus 30% to dodge for one round. Once per combat. Well, that's interesting. Could be useful on just about anyone, but I think we'll toss that to Adira. Because we've been leaning on her psychic powers pretty heavily. And while it hasn't happened yet, every time we do that, we do risk triggering warp events. The nasty of which can instantly take her out. So this will give us a slight buffer against that happening. I always have a backup plan. Numerous pumps, compressors, and other machines are thrumming away on the lower levels of the Great Bridge. The mobile charging stations chatter and crackle. The piercing sound is easily distinguishable, even from the surrounding turmoil. The sun will die and the world will be reborn! Aurora! will guide us to the new light. All right, we're going to ignore the guys off to our left. Keep your wits about you. Stop. Oop. There. But uh, yes, we need to stay focused on our main goal today, which is to take out the anti-aircraft gun. Attention, as ordered by the planet's lawful governor, to prevent recurring rebellions. All planetary guard patrols are to be doubled. All conspirators and instigators will be harshly punished. I opened my eyes to the truth, and at last I saw the inevitable future. The voices behind the door are cackling to the beat of all this commotion. Down? Yes, there's something down below. If I'm not mistaken, the streets of Rykad Magnoris are arranged in tiers. There is certainly something beneath this avenue. Storage facilities, at the very least. Duly noted, but not something for us to get sidetracked on just yet. Same with those guys. We'll come back for that next time. The fall is preordained. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Hello there. They are clearly keeping an eye out for intruders in quite possibly the worst way possible. The shuttle must have been shot out of the sky by a powerful weapon before it crashed into the building and fell onto the once crowded street. Yet more cargo. We'll take that. Always keep your eye on the prize. And there's our path down, which Adira was just chattering about. But again, staying focused. There's our anti-aircraft gun, so... Ooh. We've got better cover on the right, but that puts us right next to the stairs. And again, there's basically no cover on the left. Let's approach from the right. Oop. An ancient anti-aircraft battery of impressive proportions casts a dark shadow on the ground. Kneeling in the shadow is a red-haired woman with gaping black holes where her eyes once were. She is feverishly scrambling for something on the ground around her, dully repeating, Light! Light. Light. That's enough whining, lads. We won't be getting any more visitors. We've locked the heads off all of them. And as for that coward, I gave her a taste of my true sight. Where's she gonna go? The portly woman gestures towards the redhead. Her eclectic gear has clearly been scavenged from her less lucky friends, as well as foes. Right. Now, who's this? Oof. I notice we have no skill check attached to that first option. That doesn't bode well. 
let's at least try to defuse. I'm Rogue Trader Von Valancius. I'm giving you one chance to stand down. Well, sorry to disappoint. Get him, lads! For Aurora and the final dawn! Well, we tried. You will beg for mercy, but I will grant none. Show them no mercy! Oof. This is actually more involved than I realized. Nothing too serious, though. Mostly mooks, gunners for long range support. Oh no, that that's a problem. More mooks here. And here. Ah, frightened rebels hostile too. So two tanks right up front. Alright, alright. Sharpshooters gotta be our first priority. Let's get Valen tucked in here. Then we'll have Abelard plug the gap. That way no one can reach Valen. And then we'll have Adira on backup, just in case. No, wait, we need Cassia closer for the extra turn. Oh, but she can't move up far enough. Okay, um, change of plans. Let's put Adira up there. And we'll have Valen back here. I think he's still got line of sight from there. This weird little electro porta potty might be blocking line of sight. But I'm not seeing any other great options here. And we'll shuffle Argenta and Pask. And we're good to go. Or as good to go as we're going to get. So let's get going. Tag Val in. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Yes, perfect. On it. I'll see to it personally. Odds are against us one-shotting this guy. His health pool's too deep. But we can two-shot him. Nice tag. That's 60% down. Should be able to finish him easy. Was... Was that you? Or... Ooh. Still not enough. Poison might be enough. Yes, that'll do it. So Valen can now focus fire on someone else. Maybe one of these gunners. Oh, no, no. Oh, is this... That might be obstructing terrain that's turned partially invisible. All right, well, that's fine. We'll we'll just go for the easy targets right in front of us. I'm not too worried about these guys between Abby and Pask. We should be able to lock them down. But might as well knock them out early. Pretty good shooting for a blind person. Not liking the optics on that one. Let's burn him out. Adjust position. 
Yes, that's better. Um, fall back and lay down another stream. Momentum. Melee moving up the stairs on our flank. Maybe two turns out. On the left as well. Let's finish the guys in front of us. Uh, okay, trap on the stairs. Noted. Apparently we need to be careful around every staircase out here. No, wait. Then we won't have enough for lidless. Oh. Okay. What happened? I didn't even realize that move could miss. Huh. Well, that's an eye opener. All right, that's fine. We can adapt. Let's get Abby on him. Brightened out. And... Indeed. Taunt. Not sure if that actually stuck. All right, Pascal, let's get tactical knowledge going. Oh, yes, that guy's already got four stacks. That's great. Which puts us at plus 14% armor and plus 12 damage. Goodness. Omni Sayonara. Oh. Whoa, 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 buddy, calm down. Jeez. They are seriously nickel and diving Pascal. Yeah, I guess that's that whip into a frenzy move or whatever it's called. Gives the mooks a triple attack, which definitely heightens how dangerous they are. Let's clear the flank. Spillover should take out both of these guys. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting it to go for that guy. Okay, maybe it's secondary target closest to Adira, not closest to our actual target. I will keep that in mind. And uh, gunners on the rooftop.
Who if not me? <laughs> Why is that one still active? Is that for the shoddy or for the laser ring? Well, either way, we're out of range, but that's still interesting. Oh, suck it up, Pask. You're fine. Actually, he is getting a bit low. No injuries, though. Clear the stairs. The nice, nice. Bank the extra concentrated. And what the heck? Let's see if we can clear the rest of these guys. There's one. No. Keep shooting. And rebel. As the Emperor commands, I act. Well, I'm not the Emperor, but I appreciate the vote of confidence. Just leaves the rooftop boys and a couple of stragglers. Oof, that is embarrassing for you. Uh, let's stay focused on the roof. We'll go for spillover. Valen's got the other guy. Yep. So, two left on the roof, one left behind us. Still Cass's turn. Ooh, one point left. Let's reel this guy in. Well, hello there. Hi. How you doing? It will be done. I took care of this one. Yeah, to split. Victory is imminent. Actually, we still have those guys on the left stairs, so let's intercept. Almost forgot about those guys. They started so far from us. Ooh, perfect. Nice. So one left rooftop, two left flank. any of us can get line of sight on that rooftop guy. He's just standing there. And we can't go for spillover because... Oh, I know what we can do. Cleared. That just leaves the guy hiding on the rooftop. So now we bide our time. 
until Cassie can dislodge him. Okay. Uh, traps being weird. We'll just hang tight. It would take like five rounds for us to get up there anyway. Much, much easier to just do this. Is what I'd say if we could get line of sight on that rooftop. Alright, come on now. Work with me here. Is there an upward range on the effectiveness? Emperor, give me strength. Oh, wow. Okay, apparently not. It's just whoever's closest, regardless of distance. That is good to know. Still no angle, but what if we move over here? fine. Pask is coming up in the timeline. He can take care of it. Goodbye. Request approved. Significant value. And we're done. The rebels have been rendered non-canon. That said, we are past time, so this feels like a good place to call it. Mission accomplished. Mostly. Technically, we still have to disable that thing, but we'll save that for next time. Overall, a uh, nice fight. I mean, we took a few dings here and there. Pascal was actually, like, halfway down. Slowly but surely, they are starting to amp up the difficulty. I mean, of course, ultimately, there are combos and whatnot that'll trivialize it regardless, but I'll try to lean away from the most broken stuff. That said, I'll hit the pause button for now. I'll do the usual off-screen bookkeeping. And we will pick up here next time. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant, Eloise, Blind Iron, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark GMs, and Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. <laughs>